tell you about my dog Kona. She's a, a big part of my life and has been for a while. And uh, I've, I've paddleboard lure also on the East Coast. So um, I moved up in 2009 up to Cocoa Beach to be near my dad who was dying. And uh, rented out this old lodge, uh, run down lodge and making it into a paddleboard haven. Um, and the winter of 2010 was the most depressing, especially if you own a water, a water sports business. It was the coldest winter on record. It wasn't just cold, it was nasty weather all winter in Central Florida. And so me and all my friends who had uh, you know fishing guides or water sport businesses were all super depressed. We're like, what are we going to do for a living now? You know, kind of thing. And uh, I was alone, and my dad was uh, you know not well, and they they were about like an hour and a half from us where I was living. So I was like, I gotta get a dog, you know, I need some companionship. And uh, I went to shelters, visited a lot of different dogs, looked online, and I just, nothing vibed, you know. And, and uh, it was a rainy, cold Saturday, and uh, I was like, man, I gotta look, again, I, I went on Craigslist, dogs. There was a picture of uh, Kona, three-month-old puppy, and uh, them saying, uh, you know, we've got this dog and our shifts changed at work, can't take care of her, you know, just pay us for the shots, you know, a couple hundred dollars. And, and so I was like, all right, I called their home. So I went to Titusville and visited this family. And uh, here comes this dog and uh, just jumps up, starts licking me, licking me, licking me, just so, you know, just, just giving so much love to this stranger. Beautiful little dog. And uh, I was like, this is a dog for me. This is my dog. And uh, they had named her Holly or something like that. But, uh, you know, so uh, I told the people about where I lived and everything. And they're like, you know what? We just want to see her go to a great home like that. We're not, don't even pay us for shots and, and our expenses. Just take her. We want you to have her. So I was like, yeah. So I put her in the seat of my Bronco. I remember she was so quiet. The dog didn't make a noise for months. Just super quiet, but loving, friendly, obedient, good hearted, want to please me dog and uh, I thought what can I name her I, I want I don't want a girly name you know it's a man's dog even though it's a girl dog and uh, a man's dog even though she was female and uh, and I love the Hawaiian culture so I came up with Kona kind of a, a gender neutral but strong name and uh, so that's where she got her name and uh, just been the best dog I could ever dream of just the best spirit I, I, I nurtured her to be a water dog you know, put her on the paddle board, made sure she had no negative experiences with water up her nose and that kind of thing. And uh, I would start taking her out to uh, the no wake zone sign that was about a quarter mile off out back. Put her in the water and she'd swim beside the board all the way back, quarter mile, half mile swims. Just really training her to be a super strong swimmer and, uh, and uh, comfortable in the water. And then started surfing with her on the board, which she, she'll do it. She doesn't really like it, you know, <laughs> but uh, she'll do it. Uh, but she loves flat water paddling. She's been with me on many adventure. Every tour that I lead, she goes with me. I'll put her on the board with guests, take pictures of them with the dog. Uh, you know, and then uh, I would have her, a lot of times she'd get out and swim and swim after dolphins. And only one time, and you know, I have it on film, the dolphins came up to her and were like, messing with her and, right. and friendly but she goes swim after one dolphin swim the other one and then the, I have footage on our Facebook page so we surf and paddle of uh, which happens a lot but I got film of it her on a manatee tour and the manatee will come right up to her and look her in the face and she'll go down and lick it in the nose get <laughs> doggy kisses the manatees love it oh yeah they stay right up there and that the Kona give them little doggy kisses and they'll go back down and so she's got a, a good vibe with the manatees and uh, the customers love it obviously and a and, uh, cool thing about the Space Coast Office of Tourism asked if they, if they could do a shoot of us to use to advertise Cocoa Beach and uh, I agreed to it so and, uh, and I gave them permission to use the shots in the video and, and it's a few years back when I had long curly hair and um, I uh, so they did a great shoot, shots, uh, they used it. And there's one shot they took of me on the paddleboard, Kona in the front, we're both looking one way or the other, and I'm like this. So um, uh, they've been using that shot even today. It's still on billboards that, that advertise Cocoa Beach uh, 
all the way. I had someone call me the other day. They went to Atlanta. Like, oh, you're famous. You're on a billboard in Atlanta. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. It's me and Kona. So uh, all over the southeast, they're still using them. And uh, they also used it in uh, an article in the Sky Magazine and Delta Airlines uh, a few months back. And uh, so uh, still get mileage uh, of the shot of uh, Kona and I. And she's been on many, uh, many a show and uh, TV show with, uh, with uh, filming us paddleboarding and such. So.